We seek refuge in Allah Azrajal from the evil within us and the evil actions. May Yahdi Lahu Fala Mudilla, or may Yudlil Fala Hadiella, whomsoever Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala has guided to the Haq, to Islam, know for a certainty and a surety they are guided aright. And whomsoever he, Subhana, who has allowed to stray, know that there's no guidance for them. Wa ashadu la ilaha illallahu wahtahu la sharika la. Wa ashadu anna sayyidana wa habibbana wa nabiyyana Muhammadin abduhu wa rasuluh. We witness openly that there's none worthy of worship as a deity. In truth, except Allah, is wajal. There is nothing or no one worthy of our worship, nothing or no one worthy of our glorification, our adoration, our supplication, nothing or no one worthy of our unconditional praise, our unconditional obedience, our unconditional love, except Allah subhanahu. And we bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim, the Qurayshi, He's Allah's Abd. He's his most perfect worshiper. He's his Rasul. He's his messenger. He's Rahmatullah lil alameen. He's Allah's mercy to the world. He's Sadaqa al Mustuk, the most truthful of the truthful ones. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah says about Muhammad. Asala Rasuluhu bil huda wa dinu haqqa. That he has set Muhammad وسلم, with Huda, with the guys, and the Deen of Haq, the lifestyle, the ideology, the methodology of, of truth, and that it may prevail over all other Adyan, and verily sufficient is Allah as a witness. Allah as Wajal tells us. Ya ayya ladina amanu taqu allaha haqu tuqati wa la tamutunna la wa antu muslimun O people of your man, have taqwa of Allah, this is his right. This is his right. And don't die unless we die in submission to him, in obedience to him, which is Islam. And then he said, Ya ayya hannas, ittaqu rabbakum aladhi khalakakum min nafsin wahida 
وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارهام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا O mankind, have taqwa of Allah, who created you from one soul, Adam, and from his mate, Hawa, and from them both spread forth countless men and women. Fear Allah, from whom we ask things from, and do not accept the ties of the arham, the blood ties, the ties of relations, the ties of kinship. Verily, Allah is a raqiba, he's a watcher over us. And then he subhanahu says, Ya ayyaladina amalu taqullaha wa qulu qawlan sadeeda yuslih lakum a'amalakum wa yukfir lakum dunubakum wa may yuti'i allaha wa rasuluhu faqad faza fawzan adeema amma ba'ad Again, O people of Iman, have taqwa of Allah and always speak a truthful word. Always speak a truthful word. The believer is always truthful. One of the things we fear is to be written down as a liar. The believer is always truthful, even when we jest, even when we joke. The Prophet Sallallahu tells us, always speak the truth. Always speak the truth. Allah will make right our deeds and forgive us our faults, our transgressions and our misdeeds. And whomsoever obeys Allah and his messenger has indeed achieved the greatest of successes, Amabad, as to what follows. But in the Estaqal Hadith Kitab Allah, verily the most truthful discourse, the most truthful narration is the Book of Allah. Wa Khair al Hedi, Hedi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And the best guidance is that of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa Shar al Umari Muhtathatuha. And the most evil affair in this matter of ours are newly invented things. Every one of the muftathat is a bidda, innovation. And we judge this by the hadith of our mother Aisha, read on how Allah, all that, all that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, min ahtatha fi amri na heather, ma laysa min hu fa hua rad, whoever brings the muftathat. The newly invented matters in our deen of ours and is not sanctioned by it, verily it's rejected. Wakulla Muktatatin Bidda. Wakulla Bidatin Dalala. Every bid is a dala are going astray. And Allah tells us, Wawajadakalan Fahada. And verily he was astray. And he guided us. He, Subhanahu, guided us to this beautiful deen, this beautiful methodology. This beautiful ideology of Islam, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, that they had done Islam or Sunnah. We praise Allah Subhanahu who guide us to Islam, the submission to Him, and the Sunnah of His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa kulu bilatin dalala, wa kulu dalala tin finna. And every dalala, every going astray in His people are under fire. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to preserve us from that and protect us from that. Amen. Alhamdulillah, we gather the best day of the week, Yom Juma. This is the day that our father Adam was created. This is the day he was put out of paradise. And the Prophet wasallam, told us that Qiyamah will come and know the day but Yom Juma when the people are gathered. So this, Ikhwan wa Khawad, Barakallah Fikum Jamia, this gathering today is significant of the gathering when we will face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala barefoot, naked, and uncircumcised. So we try to write our prayers. We thank Allah as wajal for giving us this beautiful nitma about Islam. This beautiful nitma. And the best thing he gave us <coughs> is the understanding of how to worship him. Tawheed. Tawheed Allah. The best thing, he has distinguished this Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu from amongst the other Adyan. He's blessed us and guided us with the light of Al-Islam. And he says, <laughs> that he, Subhanahu, Subhanahu, has guided us 
and he has brought us out of different levels, different methods of darkness into the one light of Al-Islam, the one light of Al-Islam, the light of Tawheed. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who blessed us with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah says, that he doesn't speak of his own desires. What he speaks is revelation revealed to us. Whether it be the Quran, the Hadith Qudsi, or his authenticated Sunnah. It's all from the Haq. It's all divinely guided, divinely revealed. Know for certainty and surety, brothers and sisters, that the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is the best thing we have going. And as some of the imma of the past have told us, one of the our great imams of the past, Imam Abu Baba Hadi, Rahimullah Rahmatullah he said, in the first point of our creed, in actualizing our aqidah, is Islam is the Sunnah, and the Sunnah is Islam. And then the great imam, the imam of Dara Hijri, Dawah Hijra, Imam Malik, Malik Ben Anas, he said that the Sunnah of Mustafa وسلم, is like the Ark of Noah, committed and subpoena to Noah, like the Ark of Noah. Embark upon it, ride upon it and be saved. Abandon it and be destroyed. Abandon the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and you're destroyed. And so it's very, very important that we know our Akita today. Because we have very many heretic groups, such as the Qur'aniyya, who say that all we need is the Book of Allah, and we don't need the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that he was given something, he was given the Qur'an, and something similar to it, which is the Sunnah, which is the explanation, the actualization, the personification of the Book of Allah. And we find that in the Sunnah, in the embodiment of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when our mother Aisha was asked about the character of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she said he was the Quran walking. He was the Quran walking. So it's very, very important for us to understand the Sunnah, to learn the Sunnah, to love the Sunnah, to follow the Sunnah, to teach the Sunnah to our people. It's very important. It's very important. Allah tells us to save ourselves and our families from the fire. To save ourselves and our families from the fire. And Allah tells us that the people who believe as the Prophet saw some believe, verily they are guided. So it's imperative on us as believers. It's imperative on us as believers to understand the Sunnah, to learn the Sunnah, to follow the Sunnah to implement this in our lives. We're living in a time, I think it's long. We're living in a time of darkness. We're living in a time when many heretic groups are coming in the name of Islam, and in actuality, they're destroying Islam. They come, they say, in the name of the Sunnah, but in actuality, they're enemies of the Sunnah. So it's upon us, it's upon us, brothers and sisters, to embody the Sunnah, to teach the Sunnah, to show the people what the Sunnah actually is, to show them what Islam is. You see, because the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu is what he said, what he did, and what he gave his tacit approval to, meaning what he was silent. If something happened in front of him, he was silent regarding that, that meant that he accepted that. So if we are silent today, if we remain silent, if we remain silent in the face of these different heretic groups, that are killing people, slandering the Islam, then that means we're in acceptance of this. When I hold the Bilal Mandala. When I hold the Bilal Mandala. So again, Alhamdulillah, Allah bless us to come together in His worship, in His obedience. He said, Ya Ladina Amanu, Ida Nuri Ali Salat bin Yomu Juma, Fasol of Dikr Allah with the Nul Bay. Dabikum khedulakum in kuntum ta'alamun. All people of be man, when the call is made, hasten to the remembrance of Allah. Hasten to his dhikr. Hasten to remembrance 
And this is best for us if we but knew. So remember that the chutbah, the Juma, is for nasiha, for advice, for ma'idha, for admonition, and to remind. Allah says, for dhikr, spin the dhikr, attend for umukminin. So we remind. But verily, the reminder benefits the believer, inshallah. We pray, Allah, that whoever's up here on this minbar, inshallah, that we take heed. That we don't, look like, we don't do like the Christians and leave out there on an emotional high. No. We want to leave out there with something that would help, in actuality, to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Closer to his obedience. And we keep that at heart, inshallah. Wa quli qawla ya'adha astaghfu alayhi wa likum. Wa alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran ta'iban mubarakan fi. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salat wa salam ala rasulillah, wa ala ali, wa sahbihi, wa man wala. Alhamdulillah, we have mastered the Aqaba here, Alhamdulillah, we really, really upped our uh, durus, the lessons that we have, Alhamdulillah, every morning after Salat al-Fajr, we study the book by Imam al-Baba Hadi, entitled The Creed. And this book, Alhamdulillah, gives us like 140 points of what we need to do to really actualize. Is everything okay there in the kitchen? Soon, man, close that door. Close the door. My brother, brother, go up here. Alhamdulillah. So we're studying our Aqidah. And this is very, very, very important to have Aqidah Sahih, to have the correct Aqidah, the correct belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the correct way to worship him. Because there are many, many, many groups who come, as I said, in the name of Islam, and the aqidah is bother. The aqidah is shot. The aqidah is shot. And if we don't have the proper aqidah, if we're not grounded properly, then we'll find ourselves falling in line. We'll find ourselves doing taqlid and falling in line with people. And this is not what we want. This is not what we want. Allah says, And if they believe as you believe, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi then they are guided. So we want to believe, we want to practice, just as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam believed and practiced. And as his beloved Sahaba, Ridwan Allah, Alayhi Majma'een did. He said, Alaykumu sunnati wa sunnu wa khulafa rashidin mahdaeen. That upon us is wajib, upon us is his sunnah and the sunnah of the khulafa rashidin mahdaeen. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, and the Ashra, Mubashira, the ten who were promised Jannah. And all of them, as the scholars say, all of them were fit to be the Khalifa. All of them were fit to be the Khalifa. So it's imperative, it's imperative, Ikhwan, that we get in touch with our ulama. The Prophet ﷺ told us that the ulama are the inheritors of the NBA. The ulama are inheritors of the NBA, meaning we put our hands in their hands and we let them guide us, okay? We let them guide us. This is what they're here for. They guide us through this darkness, through this gloom, through this zulimat, illa nur, to the one light of Islam, to the light of the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Here at Masjid al-Aqaba, mashallah, as I said, we study the creed after Salat al-Fajr. On Saturdays, we have martial arts, we have boxing, we have jiu-jitsu, we have kung fu, we have just strange food wrestling, mashallah. You know how we do. Alhamdulillah. I didn't say that to make anyone laugh, but mashallah, it is what it is. You know, because we know one of the signs of the Qiyamah, as the Prophet said, would be obese. Obesity would become fat, lazy, slouchy. This is not the posture of the movement. This is not our posture. Especially in this day and time. Especially. I don't know if anyone knew, but earlier this week, uh, 
uh, how many learn? The schools in LA were all closed down because of a bomb threat. They said that y'all wanted to bomb the schools. That's what they said. Every time something comes up, you know who they're going to blame it on. Falam or Falam. Abdullah, Abdul Rahman, Abdul Rahim. It's going to be our fault. So unless, again, I've spoken about this the last couple of weeks, inshallah, we're going to put a little piece of this up for this today. Unless we come together, put aside our petty differences, and unify, and we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet something that he unifies the hearts. That if Rasulullah was something would have spent everything at his disposal, everything on earth, he could not have united the hearts of the believers. Unity comes from Allah. This is a nitma from Allah to be unified. And in this day and time, we see the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu has come true when he said that all the people of the world will gather against you like diners coming to eat. And there's an illustrious sahaba, Ridwan Allah, he said, yeah, Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Will it be because we're few in number? He said, no. It will be kathir, it will be plentiful. But there will be a rocking in our hearts. There will be rocking in our hearts. And the Sahaba said, Yeah, Rasulullah, so so what's rocking? You see, they were the best of students when they didn't understand, they asked questions. They said, Yeah, Rasulullah, so so what is this rocking? He said, Hope it dunya wa kira here to mouth. The love of dunya, the love of this stinking dunya and the hatred of death. The love of this dunya and the hatred of death. This dunya is designed to keep us chasing it, to keep us running behind it, to make us fall in love with it, and we'll never, ever, ever catch up with it. And remember, our father Adam was put as a punishment, not as a gift, not as a reward. So don't fall in love with this dunya, Khuan al Don't fall in love with this dunya. Let's shake Muhammad sit down. Leave him there. MashaAllah. Jazakallah So again, the point, this is the best day of the week. The best day of the week. As far as what we have going here at Aqaba, we have the classes on Saturdays for self-defense. We have the classes, our brother, our uh, newly appointed imam, Brother Ali Shabazz. Hafidullah wa ala khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him from good. He has a bunch of students, mashallah, the young men. And he's carrying on the work that our past imam has started, teaching the, 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 the students the huruf, teaching them the letters of the Quran, how to read the Musab. Isn't it beautiful? Brothers out the hood. Brothers out the hood. They see gang banging. They see shooting and everything else. They can sit down and read the Musab, read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in its original language. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is the type of talims that we need. This is the type of delusions that we need to raise us up, you see, to raise us up. Because we have a legacy to live up to. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually created creation, he took the people out the loins of Adam, out the back of Adam. He said, Alas to be up to am I not your Lord? And we said, Bala, Shahidna. Yes, we testify to that. We testify to that. So we're not gonna take we're not gonna take second place, second fiddle to anyone. MashaAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us his deen. And if we look in the Tariq of Islam, many of the scholars of Islam were not Arab. Imam Bukhari, who had the second most authentic book to the Quran. He was a Russian, Tigmidi. Many, many of the scholars, so I'm allowed, we're trying to follow in that mode. Raise these youngsters up on the book of Allah. Nourish them on Tawheed. On Tawheed. Not Santa Claus. Not the Easter Bunny. Not the Truth Fairy. But on Tawheed Allah. MashaAllah. We have, uh, as I said, the meetings. Uh, we have our classes on the weekends, on the uh, Saturdays and Sundays. As a matter of fact, every day of the week. There's something going on at Master Aqaba. So we invite you all to come take part, to join in with us, inshallah, join in with us and help us 
Either you come as teachers or as students or as both. We need you. Come along. We're trying to build this community. We're trying to build this community and let Master the Aqaba be in the last dollar, be a model of all the Masajid here in Fresno. We don't have any shields there. We don't have any scholars. We just got brothers who are jacking our slacks and trying to work this deen, inshallah ta'ala. And I also want to give my brother Bilal Suleiman, our, our new emir, mashallah, he's doing a fantastic job with this masjid. A fantastic job. Our brother Ali Shabazz, the board, brother Farad, brother Abbott, I know over there, alhamdulillah. And for all the brothers and sisters who come for our Juma, mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and guide you. Inshallah, we have any more announcements? <laughs> yeah. My nikah today after Juma, be in the last hour. I'm sure I can't forget that. Not be in super trouble. So inshallah, with that, inshallah. Allah <laughs> makfir al mukminin wa mukminat. Wa muslimin wa muslimat. Wa wahidin wa wahidat. Ayyahu min humu lamwaz. Bi rahmatik ayyahu hamma rahimin. Rebbin atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fila akhirati hasana. Wa qina adab al na. Rebbin alatu ziqalubna. Badita daytana. Wa habdana min dunka rahma. Inna ganta wahab. Inna Allah. Wa malaikatu yisalluna ala nabi. Ya ili namanu sallu alayhi wa sallam al tasliman. Wa tina salah. Inna salah atanha. Anna fashayi wa munka. Inshallah, we're going to have a brief short meeting after after the uh, salah, and then we'll get on with the nikah. Inshallah, the short meeting won't be long, but we have a few brothers who are not feeling well, so we're going to get that out the way. We need that job. Barakallahu Allah Allah Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah Hayya lil salah Hayya lil falah Arqam tu salah Arqam tu salah Allahu akbar Allahu akbar La ilaha illallah Isto Isto tarasu be close. There's another spot in Sofa Owen in the first. No, that's for the that's for the Muhammad. That's for the Muhammad. Okay, inshallah. Put our heels on the back of the white line, inshallah. Just still, let's be close. No room for shaitan. Not until I are late. All the roads good. Oh, y'all good, good back there, Mossad. Brother Salim, you good back there in your in your row? Brother Jazz, everything all right? The Prophet says, Salu, come out of Eto Muni, U Sali, prayers, you see me pray. This commands for men and the women. Ankle to ankle, shoulder to shoulder for the men and the women. God of love you. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina as-sarat wa mustaqim.
ಮನೋನಿವಾಸಿ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತರ ಪ್ರಭಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನಕರ ಕೈಯದ್ದಕರು ಮೈ ಯಕ್ಷ ಯಾತ ಜನ್ಮ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟ ಎಲ್ಲದಿ ಸಣ್ಣರ ಕುಬರ ಬೊಮ್ಮಳಾಯು ಮೂತ ಸೇಹ ಬಲಯಸ್ತ್ರ ಪರಪಾನಂತ ಜಕ್ಕ ಬದಕರ ಸ್ಮರಬ್ಬಿಹಿ ಪ್ರಚಲ್ಲ ಬೆಲ್ತುಪ್ತಿರೂನ ಭಯ ಚುನ್ಯ ಒಲಾಖ್ಯರ ಚೈರುಪ ಇನ್ನ ಹಜಾರ ಫಿಲ್
Please don't forget the uh, Sadaqa boxes. Uh, there are many impoverished Muslims in the area that need your help. Please remember, by giving Sadaqa, your wealth does not diminish. I'm not. We have a great show of me. We have a great show of me. We have a great show of Yeah, inshallah. I'm so nervous up there. I've never been nervous like that. You're getting married, yeah. Of course. Inshallah. Give me a little rough.